is Jennifer Vallapi. I'm the founder and president of the Women of Tomorrow Mentor and Scholarship Program, which mentors at-risk young girls in our public high schools. It's all a group of very accomplished professional women who do the mentoring, um, and it's a unique organization to the country. But I was a television newscaster for some 25 years, and in the process of my career, uh, when I was anchoring the news for NBC in Miami, I decided to start Women of Tomorrow along with our then president and general manager, Don Brown, and I had this idea for something that I thought would be great to help at-risk young girls live up to their full potential, and I called on a bunch of my friends, and we put it together, and uh, now, 16 years later, this program has been going. We've given out over $3 million in college scholarships. We mentor 2,500 girls in South Florida, in Detroit. We're in the process of a national expansion, and we have phenomenal results, a 92% high school graduation rate among an at-risk group of kids. When I first got into television, first of all, I didn't know anybody who knew anybody who was in television at the time. And I was actually a psych major going to law school when I got into TV. And there were no women in management at all that I knew of when I got into the business. So I really had no female mentors. Um, and the women that were in the business generally looked at each other as competition. And it was exactly that sense of women looking at each other as competition that I disliked so much and that I wanted to change. And that's what led me many years later to create the Women of Tomorrow Mentor and Scholarship Program because I believe that as women, if we're ever really going to find true equality, it's going to come because women are supporting each other. It's going to come from us, and we're the ones that need to take the next step. Well, the only real female mentor I think I had was my grandmother, and she was a survivor of the Armenian Genocide. And I used to hear all the stories as a kid about all the awful things that happened and all the atrocities. And I used to say to my grandmother, I can't imagine how you ever survived all of this. How did you get through this on a day-to-day -day basis? And my grandmother used to always say, you know, you'd be surprised and amazed at what the human spirit can endure when it has to. And don't ever think there's a problem so big you can't overcome it. So that, to me, was the best advice I've ever had and, and the advice I try and live by. People always say to me, how do you do everything? And, and I always kind of jokingly, and only half jokingly, say, you know, I don't do any of it well. <laughs> you do everything, but, you know, you, you have to make compromises here and there. So can you have it all? Yeah, I guess you can have it all, but maybe you're not going to get as much of one thing as you want at, at any given time. You know, you have to sort of scale back every now and then, you know, but it, it, it has, you know, I, I was on the air for 25 years, so television was a really challenging career, and I still do a lot of television, and I love it, it's, it's a lot of fun, and, and, and there are certain things I miss about the news, but this idea of actually creating a charity from the ground up, for me, was, was really um, just such an amazing thing that was just supposed to be a little thing on the side, just a little idea I had, and then it, it took on a life of its own. And, you know, of course, your personal life always has to have compromises whenever you have any professional aspirations, I think, on any level. But, you know, women have been dealing with that for men for years, so <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. Well, I, I think that it's really important to believe in yourself, especially when no one else does. Um, years ago, I used to have a show in New York called Money, Power, and Influence. And one of the things I learned about very successful people was that really successful people were not the people who didn't face obstacles in their life. They were the ones who figured out how to turn their obstacles into opportunities. And so I'm always trying to tell the girls, it's never going to get easier. There's always going to be problems. Someone's always going to throw a roadblock in front of you. What you have to do is figure out what you have to do to overcome that roadblock. And that's just part of life and part of learning. And it happens not only at big moments in your life, but it happens every day probably a thousand times. So the sooner you begin to look at obstacles as just something to simply overcome and the latest challenge, I think the easier life gets.